What's up guys, it's Brandon here and today we got the Nest Thermostat E. We're going to be unboxing it, checking it out, going over some of the comparisons between the regular Nest Thermostat. So let's go ahead and just open up the packaging here. Now with the E, it is a little bit cheaper than the regular Nest Thermostat. This is $169 versus $249. Uh, with that price difference, you do get a couple of drawbacks. Mainly, I would say these are cosmetic. Uh, so with the Nest E, it's only available in this white color. This is a plastic housing, whereas the regular Nest is a full metal casing. Also, it's got a frosted display, so not as clear. It's also got a little bit of a smaller screen. The main differences between the product uh, usability is that this is less compatible with HVAC systems so if you notice on this one here it's got a few less connectors than the regular Nest and so if you guys need to figure out what uh, thermostat you need or which one's gonna be more compatible with your system you can always check out the Nest uh, website and I'm gonna put a link to that down below inside the box here we also have a mounting plate and it looks like this model does not come with a screwdriver so they probably saved some cost with that as well your screws are tucked away right here and I forgot to mention but the last thing that is different between this and the regular thermostat is there is no far sight display on this Nest thermostat what that means is this will not automatically display your target temp your um, the outside weather or digital clock but it's still very capable it has the same software right behind the device and you can still control it with your smartphone or online via the website all right so let's go ahead and install this thermostat it should be pretty easy guys all right so this is our regular thermostat this is climate master whatever whatever and so the first thing we're gonna do is pop off the display now we're going to take a look at these wires You'll notice on the side they have these letters. We're gonna take a note of which one goes to which letter and we're just gonna hook it up the same way as it is on our thermostat here. Now if you guys notice, I have the old uh, mounting screws for the thermostat and it's not really covering it up with this here so this is where that mounting plate comes into handy you place this behind here and then you place that on top of there so that it would cover that up what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just going to patch this up um, in the future so I'm just gonna leave the mounting plate out and screw in my screws like this so I've gone ahead place one screw in the nest makes it really easy because it has this bubble level and so we're just gonna make sure that this is level here. And then we'll add in our second screw. Once that is secure to the wall, we're just gonna take our nest, push it into place, it's gonna turn on, and we'll go ahead and download the smartphone app.
quick update here, guys. So I've had my nest for about a week now, and I'm at my parents' where they have the regular nest. For 80 bucks cheaper, I would highly recommend getting the Nest E. It's really the same device. It's just this one here feels a little more premium. But since I'm always controlling my Nest through my iPhone or through Amazon Echo, I would highly just recommend getting the Nest E. Let me know what you guys think below. Leave your comments down below. Would you get a Nest, a Nest E, or an Ecobee, or another company that does really the same thing? Uh, please leave a like if you found the video helpful. Subscribe to see more tech videos. I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.